Hello, I'm Michael Eisner. Tonight we have a very special guest joining us to celebrate the Christmas season. Hi there, Michael. Kermit, it's a pleasure to have you here with us. Oh, listen, it's a pleasure to be here. When you wish upon a star as part of the rebranding of Disney's flagship television series, a decision was made to have a host like Walt Disney did in the 1950s and 60s. Many names were considered, including Julie Andrews, Dick Van Dyke, Cary Grant, Tom Hanks, Walter Cronkite, Roy E. Disney, who looks just like his Uncle Walt, and even Mickey Mouse. Finally, CEO Michael Eisner was persuaded to try and do it. Michael Kay, a commercial director for then U.S. Senator Bill Bradley, a friend of the Eisners was brought into the process. We wound up filming Michael on three different occasions, 68 takes, until everyone, including Michael, all the Disney executives, and his wife Jane, felt comfortable with him playing this on-camera role. For the next three years, Michael Kay and I had the fun of collaborating on over 100 introductions to the Disney Sunday movie, shamelessly using them as advertising opportunities to promote Disney characters, theme park attractions, and media products. Michael Eisner was always very kind to me and willing to consider even the craziest ideas. I know it drove the operations people crazy, but we loved taking him into the Disney theme parks while they were open and filming him on attractions like the Nautilus, Big Thunder Railway, teacups, etc. When I transitioned at Disney from television to feature films, more than anything else, I missed the fun of doing what we called the voice of Disney. Robin, we better get out of here. The sheriff of Nottingham is after you, not me. Out. Every town has a taxes too.